So we're going to graph this function right here. f of x is x squared. So we're going to begin with our base graph. So if we make a table, we plug in 0, we get out 0. Plug in 1, we get out 1. Negative 1, ne uh, positive 1. Plug in 2, get out 4. Negative 2, also have positive 4. So we get this parabola. This is our base graph. Now there is 1, 2, 3, 4 transformations, and we're going to apply them in order. So referencing to our last slide, we had horizontal first, stretch shift, vertical stretch shift. So what stretch do we have first? It looks like a half, so we're going to do a horizontal stretch. It's the reciprocal of one half. Now multi-story fractions are very dangerous. You need to know how they are grouped. Here's B, one half. How to deal with multi-story fractions? You need to multiply by their the reciprocal of the denominator. And one time it's divided by one is one, so we're gonna get two. So we're gonna do a horizontal stretch by two, and then we're gonna do a shift to the right, one, and vertical stretch by two. Verticals are always much easier to see, and then shift up four. So we're gonna do these operations here. So first thing we're going to do is apply the horizontal stretch by 2. And I'm going to redraw the graph uh, over and over again. So the first up, we have this half. And I'm going to leave out everything else. Just apply the 1 half. Now I wrote it inside the parentheses because if I wrote it outside, this would be a vertical stretch and I want a horizontal. So this is a stretch of 2. I'm only going to keep track of these three points instead of all five. Uh, I could keep track of this point. We just basically move double 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So it would move out to here to 4 if I really wanted to. Go to 4. Four, I'd have the point right there. Uh, but I'm gonna just keep track of a little bit less information, just going with three points here. So we have negative two, one, zero, zero, two, one, these three points. If you're a visual person, all I did was take their x uh, values basically and spread them, double them. So spread them twice as far away from the y-axis that they were. Right here, if you're a algebraic numbers person, you want to take your x coordinates and multiply them by 2. And they'll appear right here. Next up, we're going to do the shift. So y equals 1 half x minus 1 squared. This is a shift to the right one. So we're going to take our x coordinates and we're going to add 1 to each of them. So negative 2 goes to negative 1. 0 moves to 1, 2 moves to 3. These are our important x-coordinates. So there's our three points. And we'll do a vertical stretch by 2, doubling our y-values now. So this graph will be y equals 2, 1 half x minus 1 squared. Don't do the plus 4, we're not there yet. So we're going to take our y values and double them. And there's our new graph. And last, we're going to graph, do our full graph right here. We'll write our final answer right here. We're going to go up 4. Probably should leave a little more room. So there's 4, 1 and 3. And 
Here's our final graph. We have one, four, three, five, and negative one, five are our three points. All right, how do I know that this is right? Maybe I just made all this stuff up. Well, I can check to see, are these points actually on the graph? So what do I get if I plug in one into G? So we're gonna check some points. If you check two, you're probably just fine. Uh, assuming you get the values to match. So I'm gonna plug in one into G. So what is that? Uh, ooh. I do this very carefully. So it's two times F of a half. X is one, so it's one minus one, which is zero. Plus four, two, F of one minus one is zero, times a half is zero. What is F of zero? We have to look up here, square it, we get zero. Plus four equals four. So there's our point four on the graph. And I can do a very similar plug in three and check that. Now for completeness, if you're following along with the books method, they're going to tell you to do it in a different order. Algebraically, what did I do? I distributed the half right here. If you distribute it, it's a different order. This is the books method, and if you do it this way, you have to change the order that you stretch and shift. So just to warn you, you can do it this way, but your stretch is uh, not done first. Your shift, you would shift uh, one half instead of one, and then do your stretch. So it has a uh, the same effect at the end, but you take a different path to get there. And you can always check your points just like this.